Hey, what's up? I'm Mason the Mason, and today I'm going to show you how to build a block corner. So if you want to do it like I do, uh, these are the tools you're going to need. A four foot level, a two foot level, tape measure, chalk line, pencil, crayon, marker, a uh, striker, line block, a brush, a trowel, and a hammer. And you are going to need a transit of some kind. First thing you gotta do is get yourself a broom and clean all the stuff off the footer. So we have all the corners for this foundation established so we can snap some chalk lines. So usually you gotta like lay out where the pieces go but I'm on my first lead here so I always start with no cuts so I can just do all whole block. So I'm on another lead here. I'm gonna show you how to lay this out and make sure your block are running the right way. Not so, the wrong way. Yeah, not the wrong way. So Jake butts me into my uh, lead there. So the tape is held right on the block on my lead. And I mark out bond, which is all the red numbers on the tape. There's no thinking. You just mark that all the way back. And it gives you a measurement. So my remainder measurement here is uh, 8 inches. So that's good because it works block. Corner is going to run this way, so I just put a mark on there so I don't forget. So my corner block is going to run this way, the way the arrow is. And the other block in my lead go in between these black marks here. So we got our mud and tools and everything. Lines are snapped. We're ready to lay some block. So the first thing I got to do is spread our mud on the footers. So I slap it around and I get it on like half of my trowel. And I come over here. And put it right on the edge of the line. And try not to cover that line. And once you do the line, you do the other side of the block. Just guess about 10 inches because that's what we're doing. And you can adjust it once you start laying them. You can push it around and whatever. Don't be afraid to go heavy because you can just clean this mud up and reuse it. My mud spread all nice. Now it's time to set some block. You always start with your corner block. All I do, is I uh, make sure I put this corner, the outside corner, right on my outside nail head that we put the other day. And I make sure both sides are right on my chalk line. And that's it. And then you can spread the heads right on the ground like this. So what I do is, depending on which side, like for this side, I put it the mud on this side of my trowel and I give it a good slap so I can hold it upside down like that. I swipe in and then out and then the top and it stays. Then on the other side, I put it on the other side of my trowel. So I put it here, slap, it stays, straddle a block, inside, outside, top. All right. The special thing about corners for 10s or 12s, they have this L right here. So you gotta mud that. Same thing, just on the one side of my trowel. Swipe in, top, out, done. <clears throat> so I got it all spread. You don't really have to worry about this head right here because when I, if I mud that, it'll push my corner off my line. So I'm ready to lay these blocks. All you do is set them right to the line not too picky right now. So now that I set them all, I can now uh, level and plumb them. I always start with my corner. All I do is I put it on the outside right here and I make sure it's plumb. Perfect. I use a hammer because it's easy to turn the block. All right, so I set my corner. I got my bumper on my trowel. You always set these block off your corner. So I take my bumper, bump it down onto that corner, and then make sure it's level. So I got to tap down on this side. Level. Level. 
So then you just gotta plumb all the rest of them. Outside here, tap. And you always plumb the outside wall line. Now it's time to make sure they're all running straight on that wall line. So I make sure my outside corner is right on our nail head. It is, a little bit. I make sure over here is on the line. I just bump them all to my level. So I just take the corner of my level like this, chase it across there. And then I can tail it out this chalk line. Perfect. And the goal is here is to make sure this can just slide across it. That's how you know it's straight. And you can fill in this corner hole. You always fill in the gap here on your corner block. I just use the extra mud. All right, I got this first course all done. It's all perfect, ready to build up. Now I gotta set rebar pins. So I drill one here, 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 and then every four foot. So I only got one over here and nothing over there. All right, rebar's drilled and hammered in. I just got four bars there. Now I'm ready to go up to my second course. All right, so for spreading on these block, you gotta get a big scoop of mud. Don't uh, skimp on it, just as much as you can. Get in there, slap, see that? That slap is not going anywhere. My corner is gonna step back from this one so I can start right here. Put, I touch my nose to the edge of the block, twist, and you drop my, just slide across the block. So this corner is really funky when you're trying to set it. So you gotta make sure you have mud touching everywhere on the bottom of this uh, block here. So all you gotta do over here is just make sure you cross web. <clears throat> and that way it won't sink. I'm gonna set this corner. So I go over my rebars, slide it down, and I look down my corner. The biggest thing is just to try and match up the bottom corner to this one I'm setting. So I just make sure it's on the bottom there, clean up the mud, and reuse it. Okay. Same thing as the bottom course, just head them up on the wall here. Make sure you're getting everything sealed up good. All right, about uh, setting these. It's all about how your wrists are. And your goal is to set it as flat as possible and look down right on that outside edge of that block. Can you look down this core? And you gotta make sure you're hitting the center of these webs here. Like over here, my center is hitting right on. So all these are set and every single course is exactly the same. You start with the corner, you plumb the corner, and then you level off of it. Just remember, make sure this is touching your corner block down, good, level off, it's good, level. And then you just plumb them all again like this. So the only extra step now is you just tail down to the course below. So I chase it down, make sure it's plumb, tap my corner into it. All right, I'll go right to the outside corner, all the way down. And then you just Make sure you do both sides of this corner. So this side is plumb and this side is plumb. So I got this side, this point right here where I plumb down and right here. My goal is to get the outside edges of my level to touch it. So notice, you look down here, I got a gap at the edge here. So I got to tap this in. I tap it in till it's flush. Tap it in and I make sure every edge of the block is touching the corner of my level. That's all you gotta do for that course. Just don't forget to fill up your corner head. So it's the same thing like that second course all the way up. Spread, set them, plumb your corner, uh, level off, plumb, plumb down, straight edge every time. Another important thing is always have your block in eight inch increments, lengthwise and heightwise. So right here, 
I'm at 16 inches and perfect. So every two courses, you need some sort of horizontal reinforcement, whether it be rebar or durawall, whatever you're doing. So if you're doing rebar, uh, you got to make holes like I did here. And uh, I like to do it on the bottom. You can do it on the top either way. So top, bottom of the block, all you got to do is hit it each way like that until there's a little pocket for your rebar to set in there. So I got my holes for my rebar, just pick it up, put it right on top. Good to go. All right, so last course here. The only thing you gotta do is plumb the top. And tail down. So if you notice, I got a four footer because I want to go as far down as I can. I'm here, tap it in, good, um, I'm done. So now I just got to make sure that my height is good and I have an established footer over there. So that's the height that I got to hit for all my leads. So now it's time to pretty this up. You get a pile of mud and you take, take this little striker here and fill in all the holes and make it smooth like that. All right. Do all the heads first and then come back and do the beds. You just take this corner block and drag it up the corner. Make a nice clean corner. Then you brush away all the boogers. Then you double strike. This time you do the beds, then the heads. It's kind of backwards from the last time. 